Donnie Barnes with John Schreiner after we saw Butler defeat Creighton 3-0 tonight on the Big East Digital Network. And John, early on, it was all Butler in this match as Creighton were just trying to hang around. Yeah, her entire first half, Butler was holding possession, creating chances. And Kenzie Miola, good enough in the first half, except for this one. Not really her fault as the ball comes off the heel of a defender. De Sarcina right there to clean it up. Caitlin De Sarcina gave Butler the lead in the 11th minute. They would continue to press the attack throughout most of that first half, as you said. Yeah, Butler just really finding acres of space until a corner kick, a rare one over the last four matches for Creighton, nearly goes in. Taryn Jacobowski with the near Olympico gave Creighton some hope as we headed into that second half. It was Annika Schmidt who made that wonderful goal line clearance. A couple good stops from Mackenzie Miola. This one to deny Paige Monahan and keep it at 1-0. And Miola was able to keep Creighton in this match for long periods. And then Creighton in the second half, they grew into it and created some good opportunities. Yeah, a little bit of a change in, in where players were playing on the pitch. Moved Taryn Jacobowski a little bit more infield to see the ball more. And it really worked out. M many more chances created in the second half for the Blue Jays, but they were just unable to come up with sometimes the final ball or the finish off of the final ball. And they really needed to put one in the net. Keeley Fothergill with a good opportunity there that just glanced off her head. And then Butler put it away. And unfortunately for the Jays, it came off a miscue here for Mackenzie Graybill. Yeah, just, just too easy for Paige Monahan. You give a player like that uh, an opportunity to finish one, and then you don't close her down late. She puts in two and makes it 3-0. Paige Monahan, Butler's best player, and certainly looked like it, especially in those final 15 minutes as she put it out of reach for the Bulldogs and wrapped up a 3-0 victory for Butler, who remained by themselves in second place in the Big East.